Hey friends, it's Vanessa and Yvette from the Sydney McMath Library. Today we have prepared a fine feast for us to yes. sample. These are all items that we bought from the discount Dial store. Oh, sorry, the discount dollar store discount. where everything's a dollar, one dollar. The one where everything's a dollar. <laughs> um, so we, we have attempted to spice things up a little bit. We'll rank everything. We'll by rank everything. Number. We'll tell you how it tastes, but pretty much the gist of it is we're, we're showing you uh, adults, teens, children, how to make simple, inexpensive recipes from the dollar store. So if you're if you're short on cash this Christmas, uh, this holiday season, if you're short on cash this holiday season, um, you can prepare hopefully delicious <laughs> recipes. <laughs> We're not <laughs> sure about that. We hope they're delicious. All right. So we do have our glasses of water. We're going to rinse our palates in between tastings. Um, I am most excited, and Yvette's tired of hearing me go on about the pumpkin, um, but I am most excited about our dessert. Um, where do you want to start? Um, we're at the beginning. Is that is your that, least favorite? I don't want to eat this. That you think will be your least favorite? I don't want to eat this. I'm sorry. Um, this is chicken and dumplings. I am not a huge fan of chicken and dumplings. My grandma used to make really awesome dumplings. Uh, so I'm going to get mostly dumplings to try. <laughs> did you add any seasoning to this one? I did. I added um, some uh, oregano leaves that we bought from the dollar store and some garlic powder. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if you all can see that. It's a garlic powder from the dollar store. So I'm going to get a little bit here. All right, we want you guys to know that we prepared all of our food with gloves. We have washed our hands until they are dried out um, and we need lots of lotion, but we have prepared everything as COVID friendly safe as we can. We followed uh, all the CDC guidelines and we're, we're a little pretty safe, so. <laughs> we're a little close. We have our masks we're on, but we're gonna we're try right. and we're safe, so. Um, you ready? Yeah, let's do this. Okay, I'm scared, y'all. I'm really scared. Is this warm at least? Yeah, I warmed it. Yeah. Okay. I One. prepared it per the instructions. Per the instructions. And then put seasoning on it. So, let's One, see. One, two, three. Oh, heck no. I need a napkin. Oh my God, it's so gooey. <laughs> That is a, a whole fail. It tastes like a flower ball. It tastes like a flower ball. Um, the texture is terrible. The flavor, I don't know. It's slimy. It's and not. It's not slimy yet. Satisfying. It's no, it's slimy. not. It's not satisfying. Okay. Excuse me for spitting mine out. Did you I, get a piece of the chicken? No, I'm <laughs> the chicken chunks, guys. All right. So that's an epic fail. I'm. I'm sorry. Oh, I had to spit oh, it out. Oh, you, ready? Nope. Uh-uh. It's a little better than the thing. <laughs> than the noodles. All right. Oh my gosh. Unless you are a master chef and you can doctor this and maybe dry up the noodles somehow. My husband makes really good chicken and dumplings, by the way. Shout out to my husband. No, not this. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. Amazing. I did not mean to spit Chicken out my and food. Chicken and dumplings. I feel bad. This is not it. For what? For spitting out my food. Well, it's okay. So, right. what are we doing next? I'm going to do the stuffing. You're going to do the stuffing. First, I'm going to do it without. I'm going to do. We have sausage and stuffing and pumpkin tarts. And for those who want to know how to make the who want to know how to make the pumpkin tarts, since it's kind of a recipe we made up. Yes, we uh, made We'll put up. the recipe in the in the comments below. Okay. So I'm going to try my first without the sausage. Um, I'm a little frightened of this sausage. Not going to lie. Polish sausage, sausage, Polish sausage made with chicken, pork, and beef. I'm hoping it surprises me in an excellent way. I like stuffing. Stuffing is one of my favorite favorite thing it to is. Well, yeah, my, my parents, my mom makes uh, turkey dressing. And 
I like it. It's like gravy. I'm sorry, but sauce. Sauce. You like I don't like sauce. the word. I don't like the word gravy. <laughs> it's sauce. All right. Without sausage. One, two, three. Okay, that's not bad. What all did you add to that? Um, he added some chicken broth, mm -hmm. some ready-made chicken broth from the dollar store. Chicken broth. And we added um, some oregano leaves and onion and, I'm sorry, and garlic powder. Lots of garlic powder. So, but we prepared it per the box's instructions in the microwave. Mm -hmm. So all of this stuff was prepared in the microwave. Yay. If you don't like to use the stove, can prepare it in the microwave and just add some seasoning to it and sometimes it comes out pretty decent. This um, Chef Carlin brand of stuff and mix suggests that you can add in the following. Chopped nuts, diced cooked ham, sauteed mushrooms, sliced cooked sausage, which we did. Chopped cooked giblets. Giblets? Oh, yep, that's the How comes out of the turkey. Giblet or giblet? Some people say giblet. Some people say tomato, tomato. G I B L E T. Giblet gravy. Water chestnuts, crumbled bacon, cooked corn drained, diced apple, or sauteed green pepper. Um, I'm I'm pretty pleased with our flavoring add-ins. So it now it really good. we're gonna try this hot dog thing. <laughs> the Polish. The Polish. Hold on, hold on. Let ready? Get, let me get a piece. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Stab it. Okay. You ready? One, two, three. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. It's not as bad as um the dumplings. Yeah, it's it's not bad at all. Actually, actually I think if we had, I'm gonna try a little cranberry sauce. Okay. Uh, do I have to do that? You don't. I just love cranberry sauce. Alright. So I'm gonna put Let a me try some because I feel like I gotta try some. Okay. You want it with or without the sausage? Yeah. Or the sausage. I ate my sausage. Okay. Um I think if we were able to grill this, or what do you call it? We could grill it or pan fry it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that that would um perhaps help it a little bit. But it's really not as bad as I thought it would be. Um I think you just add some more you could doctor up the flavor a little bit more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's pretty good. Okay, right. I'm gonna eat mine with sausage and cranberry sauce. Okay, y'all, I don't do cranberry. Like, I don't. The texture is like jello. Well, you can do whole cranberry sauce. I don't, I don't, why? So I can eat chunks of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's still chunky. I can't even get this on my fork. Do you mash it together? I just stabbed it. Um, I need more stuffing than that okay. if I'm gonna have to eat this. All okay. right, you ready? Stuffing with cranberry. One, two, three. Hmm, it's sweet. Yeah. I don't care for it with my stuffing. Sweet and savory. I like it. I don't care for it with my stuffing, but I could eat that. I'm not gonna bother this stuffing. I like this stuffing. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. All right. All right, what's next? Yams. Yams. So the yams are Bruce's yams. Bruce's yams. Hey, Bruce, what's up? <laughs> and so we prepared it part of the can, stuck it in the microwave for like two or three minutes. Um, and I put some cinnamon and sugar on it. Some people like cinnamon and sugar. I personally do. That's how we make it. Um, we usually put a little nutmeg on it, um, but my mom makes it from potatoes, actual potatoes, not in the can. Um, you and you yam. make it in a pan. Yam, sweet potatoes. <laughs> yam or sweet potatoes, same thing. Um, but I put it in the microwave. I put a little sugar and cinnamon on it and put it in the microwave. So we're going to see how it tastes. I'm not a huge yam fam. If, if yam fam. If yam fam. Yam fam. Just one, please. Okay. If y'all can't tell, I'm extremely picky. For a big girl, that's very interesting. <laughs> uh, but I am very picky. I, I don't you like, like what you like. I don't like a lot of traditional foods. I like like not American foods. Okay, so do we cut this? What do we do with this? You just okay. You, you it, smash it's it really apart. Soft, so it is just, soft. Yeah. Did you add sugar to this? I did. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, three. Mm. Hey, that one jumped out of my mouth. It did. Mm. It's not bad either. Mm -mm. 
Not bad at all. It's not, it's a little dry. With all that water, how's it dry? I don't know. Show them how much water is in that pad. It came in the, it came in the, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. But it's There's pretty like juicy. two cups of water in there. It's juicy. We didn't put any extra water. It came in the can anyway. It's very juicy. Very juicy. It's not bad. It's pretty I, good. You know, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I thought it was going to be, you know, a lot mushier and. I mean, it's not solid, but. And if you want to go the healthy route, you don't have to do a can. A sweet potato is like change at the grocery store. So you could buy a sweet potato, peel it, cut it up, and saute it in a pan with sugar, nutmeg, and cinnamon. Um, or some people just do sugar, sugar, cinnamon, and butter, and you'll get the same result, and it will be probably the same price because sweet potatoes or, or yams are pretty cheap. But, um,. This was the quick way if you just want to put it in the microwave and just buy a can of it and put it in the microwave. Did you put butter in that? I didn't put butter in this, but usually pan saute, you can put butter in it. Oh, I don't know these words. I don't cook. Well, I do cook, cook, but I cheat. I use HelloFresh. Shout out to HelloFresh. <laughs> All right, we ready for dessert? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So these are pumpkin pie tarts. Oh, I'm excited about pumpkin this. Pie tarts. And so all we did, we purchased a can of pumpkin. Pan pup. Pan pa. Pan pup. Pumpkin in a can. Pumpkin in a can. And um, good source of fiber. We put it in a bowl. Put some sugar. Uh, put about a cup of sugar. I know we're using a lot of sugar. Put a whole cup of sugar. <laughs> sugar. It, was, it was gross with that. My diabetes. Yeah, well, hey. It was, but it made a lot. So you could make several tarts. Um, and I put some uh, ground cinnamon. Once again, I love nutmeg, but we didn't have any. Ground cinnamon and sugar and pumpkin pie spice. Okay. And this lovely imitation vanilla extract. <laughs> It's a dollar. Vanilla extract, real vanilla extract is pretty expensive. Imitation's only a dollar. So we bought imitation vanilla extract. Um, for those people who don't like imitation, you can go get the real deal and your meal will just be a little bit more expensive. But we bought the dollar kind and hopefully we'll be okay eating it. Um, I have high hopes for this. I'm not gonna lie. I have really high hopes for this. Um, okay, let's see. Let's see, we could put whipped cream on top. Did they have whipped cream there? No, we didn't see. I didn't see whipped cream. I don't care for whipped cream anyway. Uh, I also put cream, cream cheese in it. I'm sorry. I also put cream cheese in it. How here. much cream cheese you put? In I put about two tablespoons of cream cheese in the mixture. That that sauced everything. I just pushed buttons in the microwave. <laughs> that's that's all I'm good for. Um, uh, and I don't profess to be a chef. I'm married to one. Oh, but. <laughs> but <laughs> Um, but yeah, so here you are. Let's go. Sleep and save heart. Ready? Go. Oh my god. Dang. Okay, wait. And it's on a graham cracker. It's on a graham cracker. It's on a graham cracker. That's okay. our cracker. The first taste is amazing, but there's an aftertaste. That pumpkin is really, really raw. Did we heat this up? I did. I warmed it in the microwave for it. Very it. strong. It, it it finishes with a strong pumpkin note. Um, but the first bite, I like, I like it. it. I think it's really good. Mm -hmm. I think it turned out good. I think it'd be a little sweeter. You think so? Mm -hmm. A little sweeter? Mm -hmm. How much Girl, my spice be in there? Um. Pie spice. Maybe probably. that's why I'm, what I'm getting is that pie the spice. pumpkin pie spice. Mm -hmm. Because the actual pumpkin itself, it's really tart. Like that can is, it doesn't taste good alone. Did you try it, but it tastes like imitation pumpkin. I'm I mean, <laughs> it I'm tastes. It doesn't taste very good. So I had to put tons of ingredients in it to make it. I made it very similar to my sweet potato pies. I so, like okay, pretty good. I think this is my favorite. I do too. I'm going to declare um, the tarts my favorite. My, one. my second favorite is going to be the stuffing, mm -hmm. which had a nice flavor and a decent texture. Um, actually, well, I'm just going to rank straight just like this. Might as well. 
The sausage by itself, probably not. Um, maybe if we grilled it or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, but by itself, eh, mixed with that, not too bad. Mm -hmm. um, then th this don't don't it doesn't rain. Don't waste the dog. It's a no. No. Yeah. Don't do, waste the dog. Do not buy that in a can. I think I rank the same. Number one. Okay. Um, number two would be the the dressing or the stuffing um with cranberry sauce okay it's good by itself but i like sweet and it's savory. all right it's i all love right. sweet and savory so with cranberry sauce it's really good um and then i'm gonna the sausage is pretty good but i like polish sausage i do too um so i probably rank it third i don't know if i'd eat it with the stuffing just because i'm used to like a turkey yeah um they didn't dressing. have any turkey they at did the dollar store we looked but they made they had some salami and some Bologna. And, uh, <laughs> you know. What else? Some random. There was some really weird mm, meat. They had some some fish. What was that weird meat? I don't know. The Koto salami? Was it? I don't know. It was weird. Um, yeah. And then the, the, the dumplings, I'm with Vanessa. Don't waste your money. It's not very good. It's I don't think there's any flavoring we could add to save that. Yeah, it's not. I mean, maybe some salt, but it's just the, the dumpling part is really gooey the texture is horrible it's, it's like horrible. it's like a wet flower ball it's like they Ugh. didn't complete i don't know what it is it's just not good so i wouldn't i wouldn't buy that again and then the yams were pretty good yeah that's right. um, oh, yeah i forgot about the yams so if the rank would be one two three four it does not rank <laughs> don't even look at it <laughs> not at all i do have to commend vet for getting me to try cranberry sauce straight out of the jar uh out of the can <laughs> it's the first time I've done that. I've always been very leery of that, but I did try it. There you go. So I want y'all to know that I went out on limb. I tried things I would normally not ever pick up, and I'm I'm pretty impressed. With what we got? I agree. It's not bad. It doesn't make a bad. It, like I said, if you're short on cash this holiday season, um, these tarts were really good. And this was our first time, my first time making it. Like like I said, I made I make sweet potato pies and. I pretty much used my sweet potato pie recipe and just used it with the pumpkin and whipped up what we had. But all of this it was really was, good. Yeah, all of this was under twenty dollars. I think it was like eighteen, mm -hmm. seventeen, mm -hmm. including all our spices. And we're missing a couple. We're missing some. We did get some other items: macaroni cheese and cheese bites. They're in a box. They're Snaps brand. We did not try those uh, uh, today. Something else we missed. Um, no, I think we made everything okay. else. We made everything else. Okay. It was just the, it was just the macaroni and cheese bites. Yep. For so for under twenty bucks, what do you think? Family of four. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. For a feast. Yeah. All right, friends. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. I hope you try some of this random stuff and <laughs> let us know if you make any kind of fun concoctions or. You find a way to fix this dumpling, let me know. Right. But I'm, I'm kind of out of that. Or come in with your own cheap ideas that are not microwavable. Maybe you have some some um, cost-friendly recipes that you can include that you can place in the comment section. It'll help a family that needs a, that doesn't have a lot this season, which is the reason why we did this video to begin with. Single mom. Yeah, well, I'm not a single mom, but four kids <laughs> four kids <laughs> but yeah so um yeah leave us a comment thank you all so much for watching today bye hope you enjoyed happy it bye. Thanksgiving. happy thanksgiving happy holidays i'm eating this <laughs> all right, all right. Go. where we looking like don't come you want to um